It's just been a mix of the whole not knowing who's picking her up till 8 o'clock in the morning. The parents upset with Dallas ISD using cabs and vans to shuttle their kids to school. The district says it's perfectly legal and saves money. Parents are not sure they can trust the strangers driving their kids to school. In the morning, I rode in a suburban, and in the afternoon, I um, rode in a shuttle. The News Leader, broadcasting for all North Texas. Fox 4 News starts now. Three days in and the complaints keep coming to Dallas ISD. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. The district and the busing agency's use of alternative transportation has all sides really blaming each other. The kids and the parents seem to be caught right in the middle. First on Fox 4 News, Calvin Collins at a school where parents are so confused. There's a meeting tomorrow night to try to explain what's going on. Calvin. That's right, Steve. Parents of hearing impaired students at Collier Center Elementary School say that letters went home notifying them about a parent meeting tomorrow night at 630 about all these transportation issues. But the district is not confirming that. Dallas County Schools says that the reason they switched to this new transportation method was to save money, but wouldn't show us the financials. It's ready. They don't like it. They rather prefer the bus. The same sentiment shared by parents and students on the new lineup of sedans, SUVs, and taxi cabs. And we're all upset because we don't know what, what's going on, who's getting our kids. DISD's busing agency, Dallas County Schools, hired three third-party transportation companies. On its website, ALC, one of those companies, says it strives for consistency, where the same driver would pick up the same kids every day. But Jocelyn Rodriguez has only seen the same person once. On Monday afternoon, I rode alone with just the guy, just me in the afternoon, and I felt weird. I think it's mostly the ASD with trying to outsource. It should have just kept it how it was. It was much easier that way. The reason for the communication breakdown? Dallas County Schools says the district didn't give them the numbers or information on these 2,200 kids until Friday. If we had to do it over again, I would hope that we had the information earlier, that we were all able to jump in and have like a phone bank to call. That would be the one thing that I would like to have done better. This group of kids at Dealey Elementary were left wondering if they were going to get a ride home. And 13 miles away at their drop-off point, their parents were stuck waiting an extra 30 minutes. I was worried because I came to pick them up and I saw the same woman, but she said they put them in another, you know. According to Dallas ISD, Texas state law allows this type of certified alternative transportation. Still, parents don't trust some of the people behind the wheel. Even though they said they're certified, but I still don't. I know the bus driver, and she's been through DISD. I trust that the yellow bus is taking them back and forth, and it's a, a, a commercial vehicle or a taxi cab or a personal car. It's not. Doesn't. I don't have that trust. Now, Dallas ISD has used ALC uh, last year to shuttle about 100 routes, but Irving ISD, actually their school board passed a resolution on Monday night uh, allowing the district to use ALC for uh, its homeless students, but they haven't enacted that service yet. And then Duncanville ISD did use ALC for just a few amount of weeks last spring. Heather, again, for its homeless students, and the district tells me they had no complaints. Well, Calvert, I, I got to agree. A lot of those parents, they like that yellow bus. There's a comfort in that. So let's talk about the taxis because a lot of parents do not like their idea, the idea of their kids getting dropped off and picked up in, in a cab. What's the district doing about that part of this? Well, we're told that the cabs are going away. Dallas County Schools, Dallas ISD, and ALC all got complaints from parents about the taxi cabs. And I'm told they will all be going away by Tuesday at the latest. But when you take out those several dozen taxis, that means that ALC and the other two transportation companies have to background check their drivers and credential more of them so that that could potentially cause a few more backups later this week, early next week, as they get those drivers into the mix. And bottom line, everybody wants the kids in school, so it's going to have to get figured out. Calvert Collins, live for us tonight. Thank you.